We're going to begin with the Guru Mantra. So some of you know this, some of you don't. I would say just give it a shot. You repeat after me, right? So it sounds like this. Guru Brahma. Guru Vishnu. Guru Devo. Mahesh Varaha Guru Satchat Padam Brahma Tasma Shri Guru De Namaha Tasma Shri Guru De Namaha Beautiful, you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Go ahead and open your eyes. Let's make our way right into downward facing dog. You just spent five minutes breathing and like opening your throat, right? So take that breath with you and spread your fingertips wide and just kind of sway the hips side to side. Start to move in a way that feels really present for you, right? Feel into the bones, feel into the spaces where maybe you're a little bit tight or tense. Just kind of pedal the feet. So that chant, Guru Mantra, I'll tell you what it is. Some of you who are like, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you. Let's take the right leg up nice and high. Bend at the knee. We call this scorpion dog, or I call it scorpion dog. Roll around in your ankle. Roll around in your hip. So make big, huge circles with your hip, as big as you can. Think about unraveling that space and the creative part of who you are, right? That's your hips. Make sure that you find those long, deep breaths. Elongate the spine so the crown moves toward the space between your thumbs. Now with your breath, take your right leg, bring it up nice and high. Good, bring your knee to your nose as you exhale. Beautiful, and then that right leg goes high. And then bring the knee to the nose as you exhale. Nice, oh, that's nice. One more time, right leg high. And then knee to the nose, exhale. Drop your right foot forward in between your two hands. Take your back knee down toward the ground. So back knee on the ground, back knee on the ground. Inhale, reach your arms up nice and high. You got a little low lunge. Exhale, sit it back into Ardha Hanumanasana. So we're doing a little one breath, one movement. Inhale, reach, take a nice low lunge. Exhale, sit it back to Ardha Hanuman. One more time, you guys. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sit it back. Ardha Hanumanasana. Let's go ahead and hold. Pull your toes back. So all five toes. Sometimes that pinky toe in this pose, it just like doesn't want to cooperate. Push through the ball mound of your foot. If you can't reach the floor, I want you to put your fingertips on blocks or on a block. No rounding the spine. There you go. <laughs> Good. Take one more nice long deep breath in and out. Good. Let's come to standing split legs. So right foot down, left toes go up nice and high. Take your left toes up high, roll around on your ankle. Just kind of move around in that leg a little bit. And then as you exhale, like your left leg was in molasses, bring your left foot down to meet your right forward fold. Good. Take a little halfway lift. Squeeze behind your heart space. Squeeze, squeeze, strengthen your spine. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Roll up through your spine. Take it one vertebra at a time. Good. Roll up, roll up. Take those arms up nice and high. Clasp your two hands together up above you. Take a big reach through your arms. Doesn't matter the clasp, just reach like you're making your arms longer. Uh, one more big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, breathe out through your mouth and take your elbows down towards your waist. So just go, ha. Ah. Clasp your two hands together at your lower back. Kind of push your heart forward and up. Right, press through the outer edges of your feet, and then as you exhale, go ahead and forward fold, drag your hands down to the backs of your thighs. Beautiful. Inhale, take a halfway lift, and then as you exhale, take that fold. Good. Walk it back to a plank pose, please. So just step on back to plank. 
Good. Now shift a little bit forward. Drop down to your knees, lower your chest, and lower your chin. Keep your feet on the floor. Inhale, lift your heart. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Lift the heart. And then as you exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Good. So let's just do that one more time. Inhale, roll your body forward to a plank pose. And then shift just a little bit forward. Drop down to your knees, lower your chest, lower your chin. Inhale, lift your heart, Bhujangasana. Feet stay on the floor. Exhale, push back this time to child's pose. So just push back to child's pose. I swear you're just gonna be here for a second. Well, a little more than a second. Uh, do me a favor if you would, point to any area of your body where you've got an injury or if there's something going on that I need to know about. Hold it there for just a second so I can scan the room. Awesome, thank you so much, appreciate it, thank you. Best thing you can do is listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it, I'll do my best. You just need to listen to your body. And then raise your hand if you don't want me to assist you in any poses tonight. So just raise your hand. Okay, awesome, thank you so much. You guys come on up into downward facing dog. Please curl the toes, lift the tail. Good, and then right away, take that left leg up nice and high, right? Let your heart melt back towards your thighs. Beautiful. Bend at that knee, scorpion dog. Roll around in your ankle, roll around in your hip. So big, huge circles with that hip, okay? Big, huge circles with the hip. Amazing. How's the breathing, you guys? I feel like it stopped there for a second. And then the left leg's going to go high. And then as you exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Left leg's going to go high. And then knee to the nose. We're going to do it one more time. Left leg goes high. And then knee to the nose. Drop your left foot forward. Right knee to the floor. Reach your arms up high. It's a low lunge. So make sure the knee's on the floor. Exhale. Sit it back. Ardha Hanumanasana. So sit back. Beautiful. Inhale. Reach. Low lunge. Low lunge. Exhale. Sit it back. Ardha Hanumanasana. And then just one more time. Inhale. Reach. Low lunge. Exhale. Sit it back to Ardha Hanuman and hold. So sit back. Remember, don't squish your shoulder blades, around, like don't round them. Pull your sternum forward, open through the collarbone, strengthen that upper back, okay? Good, beautiful, relax. Just two more breaths. And then notice, where are you not present? Like what's pulling your distract, what's pulling your awareness? So I like to look at that, like why am I not present right now, right? Is it really that important? Inhale, standing split leg, left foot down, right toes go up nice and high. Just roll around in your ankle a little bit, like you're trying to draw a little circle on the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring that foot down to the floor, forward fold. Okay, here we go, you guys, halfway lift. Inhale, squeeze behind the heart, squeeze. Exhale to fold, let your head relax. Roll up through your spine, take it a vertebra at a time. Just go one, chick, 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 chick. And then when those arms get up nice and high, exhale out through the mouth and go, ha. Ah. Clasp your two hands together at your lower back, reach down toward the floor, take a gaze toward the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, let your hands slide down the backs of your thighs. Good, inhale to a halfway lift. And then as you exhale, take your forward fold. Walk it back to plank pose. And then as you exhale, take that knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. You can just come halfway down. Inhale, the heart's gonna lift. Upward dog or cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Beautiful. So that's your little flow. If one of those options doesn't work for you, you can always just walk right back to down dog. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Sigh the breath out through the mouth. Good. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, please. Walk, step, or float top of your mat. Take a halfway lift as you inhale and then go ahead and fold as you exhale. Nice. Inhale, arms reach and then pull the two hands to the heart. Now before we move through Surya Namaskar A, remember the theme of presence. Okay, there's lots of things that pull us out of that awareness, but let's just practice for the next little bit of time this idea of presence. Okay. Okay. Inhale, arms reach. Take them up nice and high. Good, exhale to fold all the way to the earth. Beautiful, halfway lift to inhale. As you exhale, walk back through plank and take chaturanga or knees chest chin. So one or the other. And then inhale, lift your heart into up dog or cobra. Beautiful, exhale back to down dog. Now hold your downward facing dog for just two breaths in and two breaths out. Bend your elbows just a titch, there you go. Nice job, you guys. Bend your knees, look forward, please. At the bottom of your exhale, walk, step, or float to a halfway lift. And then we as you exhale, take your forward fold. Inhale, here come the arms, take them up nice and high. And then as you exhale, pull the two hands right to the heart space. Stay with me, inhale, arms reach. 
exhale, fold all the way to the earth. Here's that halfway lift to inhale. Exhale, walk, step, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Your heart's gonna lift on that inhale, and then as you exhale, the hips go high. Hold for one breath in now, and then one breath out. Nice. Bend those knees, look forward, please. Walk, step, or float. Halfway lift as you inhale. Nice job. Exhale to fold. Here's the inhale. Take your arms up high. Exhale, drop the hands right at the heart space. We're doing it again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift to inhale. Plant your hands on the mat. Walk, step, jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. The heart's going to lift as you inhale. Open the collarbones. Exhale, back into down dog. And then here's that fold. Bend your knees, look forward, walk, step, or float. Take a halfway lift as you inhale, and then fold to exhale. Gorgeous. Inhale, arms reach. Hands to heart. This is so good. Let's go a couple more times. Inhale, reach. Be present with your breath. Exhale to fold. Good. Halfway lift, inhale. 